Today we're going to create a professional looking website for a lawyer in under 15 minutes, so let's get started. We're using the name XYZ Lawyers as a generic name, um, and we're going to call the blog title XYZ Lawyers, being the, the name of the firm. We hit create blog. There's two differences. This will take a few minutes to, to process. Um, we're using WordPress.com. We could use WordPress.org, but WordPress.com is a, a hosted facility and it's great for people getting started. We can actually change, at the moment, our blog domain is xyzlawyers.wordpress.com and we're going to change that later to xyzlawyers.com by domain redirection. So we log in, we're using our username and password that we got when we started. Let's place that in there, log in. And here we come to the WordPress dashboard, which gives us details of this is the back end of WordPress where you add in all the, um, we change the look, add um, pages. So what we're going to do is create a, f a few different pages. The first one's going to create a home page. Now I've written the um, all the text up in a Word file, so we're just going to add that in from a Word file. We've got some document, we've got some words there already. We'll just copy that in. And we're just going to turn off the comments, publish. Now this firm, XYZ Lawyers, does uh, personal injury and family law. So we're just going to create a couple of pages about their services, one of them being family law. And so we'll paste that copy we've got from Word. Paste that straight in, we'll just find it. If you notice in the permalink up the top there, we've got the, the name. We're just going to turn off the discussions. And we're also actually going to add, add an image. And we've, we've selected some images before, so we just select those. We've got one at the top there called Family Law, called, called Divorce. And we're just going to upload that to the server and just into the alt text family law just has some search engine benefit we're just going to insert that to the right there we go publish we're going to create another page for their personal injury services now we're just copy that from Word again. If we look at the permalink, it's also containing the words personal injury, which is great for search engines. We're going to turn off the discussion. We're actually going to add a picture as well. I've just realised that the cursor wasn't in the right position, so we just went up the top. We've got a personal injury JPEG. And we just add personal injury to the alt text. Learn how to spell. Publish. Now we want people to be able to contact us, so we're going to add a, a contact page. Now we want somewhere to put our blogs as well because we've got a static home page so we're going to just create a quick blog page. All we have to do is type in blog, we don't have to put anything in there. And there's one other page we want to do which has already been created automatically by WordPress which is an about page. So we're just going to grab the documentation, we've, the copy we've already got about on the about page. And just 
paste over the top. Now we've got in here section on our people, so we just make that screen a little larger. And we go to the, we're going to just insert a picture of the people in the in this firm. So we've got some stock images here. We're just going to make these in the left a small thumbnail. And the rest of the team. I'm not a big fan of using stock images to represent the people in your team. Um, it's far better to add your own people. And we're just going to turn off that discussion as well. So we're just turning off the discussion on the static pages, but on the blogs we'll have them we'll have them enabled. So let's have a quick look at how that looks. So it's starting to look but we've got a couple of things we need to still change around. So we didn't like that header, which is just this all the menus first has to change get that order back in. So we're just going to create a main menu. And we're just going to add, select all, add to menu. And what we can do is we can change the order of these pages round so that it's show and so with the home top. Move those round, contact us at the end. Pretty happy with that. You can actually move them sub pages, like nested menus, by moving them, but at the moment we've only got a fairly lightweight site. Save, and the menu is now, we'll just refresh that. So we've now got home, personal injury, family law, etc. We're just going to change a couple of things. We don't like this header that we've got in there, so we we can change the header. Now I've got a stock photo and just use Picnic to format it to the 940 by 198 size. Picnic.com is a free service from Google. It's pretty handy for changing, looking things like changing that around. And so now with those lovely pictures of Things. We're just going to change a couple of more things here. We want the static page to be the home page and the blogs, the post page to be the blog page. So let's just have a quick look at how that's just refresh. And now we have XYZ Lawyers. We've got the menu in the right format. We've got our own image. Other images just take a couple of seconds to load. And so now we're just going to create a couple of blog pages, a couple of posts. First thing we want to do is just to add some categories for our, for our blogs. One is going to be called divorce. Um, many people use the word divorce rather than family law. And the other one's going to create motor accidents because people use are most likely to be involved in a motor accident rather than a personal injury. I'm going to create one more category just as a default category. We're going to call it news. We've got an uncategorized one which we just we're going to remove once I find where it lives. It's not there, it's in writing. We're just going to change that default blog post category to news. Categories. You don't have to do this, but it's just a bit cleaner. We'll just delete that one. I had some posts. Now we're going to add two posts. First, we'll get rid of the Hello World one just created. And we'll just add new posts. I've already written these up, so it's just a matter of copy and pasting them in. The first one we're going to take is it's a common question How long does a divorce take to be finalised? And 
we're just going to add in the words we've used for this from our Word document. We're just going to add in a picture to add some colour to our make it a little bit more readable. And we'll just add the alt text in there. And we're going to put it to the right, just a medium size. Divorce category, hit publish. We want to create one more post, just to fill out the screen a bit, especially in the first instance. The object is you actually post on a regular basis, um, preferably daily, but you know, try and do it weekly. I don't always get to post weekly um, or daily. Um, I'm actually a bit haphazard in my posting. The next one is how long does a personal injury claim take? Common question that people have. Uh, we'll just grab the document, the words we've got from that. And again, we'll add an image in. We'll just add that to the right. Add some alt, alt text. Add it to the category Motor Accidents and publish. Now we're almost done. We'll just have a quick look at how that looks in the blog. We've got some nice pictures there. And we just want to change how this sidebar looks because there's a couple of things that aren't really necessary in there. So we go to the widget section and we just want to take out archives, you can just drag those out and we'll add in the Bob subscription tool that enables people to keep in contact with us and I'll just move categories up that's all we have to do, take a quick look at that and there we have it legal website in under 15 minutes um, we've got Home page, personal injury page, family law page, blog page, and about, and contact us. The next stage would be to map our own domain to this.